bumpies in it. Spidery spiders. Yes. This is looking more like the cave. Really looking more. Hear the looming music. So dance to the evil. I gotta change the song so it sounds like something I made up. It's a parody of a song. So wait, let's add. Cave. Cave of. Stand out some more. Oh, why can't you just bring up a box of colors? Much easier. Yeah, it'll stand out. Alright, so if I turn on there, yeah, okay. Dance to some evil! Oh, yeah! You know you want to dance to the evil. The evil that I will bring. I do want to say one thing. I do apologize for one thing. And that is for having to change worlds. I was having a lot of fun with the old world. Um, the old Ma Mix 2. It was quite fun. But unfortunately, like I said in my, my vlog, uh, the world kept locking up... Uh, every time it turned daytime and it may have something to do with with uh, mine colony but I'm not sure it could have been a number of things so I, I basically totally rebuilt my mod mix to mod mix 3 like I added everything back in from scratch and added in a couple more things uh, among the things I tried to add in were uh, the uh, cannon mod, um, which included like a radar and a force field. Uh, it worked. However, he did one bad thing with that mod. And one no-no that I have to say that no modder should do, and that is modify the terrain PNG file. What is the terrain PNG file, you say? I tell you, it is the main file that it holds all the pictures for the terrain. If you have a texture pack, you're going to lose um, that that mod is going to override your your terrain PNG, and if it doesn't override it, then your custom mod stuff is not going to have graphics for it. It's just going to be a purple box, or the models will turn purple. I run out of torches. So, uh, torch time. Boom. So this looks like the cave that I wanted. And in here, we shall find your radium. <laughs> anyway, yes. Um, I'm going to end the video soon. Uh, but, yeah, you can't do that. You can't put a terrain PNG file in your mod. Um, I would suggest to that author to change that, because that's bad. Um, and I tried to install the water shader, which just didn't work because of, uh, I think it's the Opti stuff, and I can't rightly remove that. I guess I could, I have the copy of 1.73 backed up, and I can just pull the files out that it changed right back into Minecraft, but I'm not sure how stable that would be, so... <laughs> um, yeah, it, it just looks really nice, by the way. If you haven't seen the Water Shader mod, check it out. It looks so great. It has its problems and little glitchy things, but if you look at it, you're like, this is a whole new game. And there are tons and tons of weapon and ore mods. Uh, let me tell you something. Um, God, there are so many of those. It, they are probably the easiest mods to make, which is why people are making them. But if you're a mod maker, please stop making those. And everybody is imitating Terraria uh, ores. 
We're adding in gemstones and weird named uh, ores, and it's just stupid, you know? Uh, Minecraft, by its default, has the tools that you need. There's no need to make a new ore to make super powerful tools and stuff like that. Everything is pretty much balanced as with what you have right now. I mean, all you're doing is adding more minutia onto the Minecraft hierarchy of ores and tools. You know, you're just saying, well, here's my ores, and uh, here is... Uh, you need to get... You need this ore to get this ore, this ore to get this ore, and... Uh, and it doesn't mean anything. With what is in Minecraft by default is quite simple. A nice simple hierarchy of, of tools. Uh, and it works. You don't need to add too much onto that. Uh, you're just not adding anything. And literally, if you go through the first 30 pages of mods, um, you will see... And you're figuring I have, what, 20 posts per page. And I'm, after 30 pages, it's, it's uh, what, 600 posts. Yes, 600 posts. At least 100 of those, if not more, are ore and tool mods that add more tools. The other popular ones seem to be adding in more recipes for making things simpler. Uh, those aren't so useful either. I mean, they're, they're, they're more interesting than tool and ore mods, but I'm not going to get them. They don't appeal to me. What I want is funky little devices and, and stuff like that. Speaking of funky little devices, if you are a modder, if you do know how to mod, um, make a pig rocket. Oh, you know how that cool would be? I would install that right away. But it's got to be compatible with mod loader, audio mod, and... Uh, and what all I'm looking for is to be able to strap on the rocket onto a pig, like a like a with a saddle, and then you right click on the pig like you would to hop on the pig to ride it, but instead of riding it, the pig just goes flying off like a bottle rocket, and pops. Just no big explosion, just pops. Goes, you know, that would be an ultimate pig rocket for me. Um, doesn't have to even be fancy as far as, <laughs> um, whatchamacallit, as far as effects go at the end. The pig just goes, explodes like a TNT thing. <laughs> That'd just be awesome. You know, you could just use what's in the game already. You don't have to really create assets except for, you know, the pig rocket model itself, I guess. Which doesn't even have to look fancy itself. Just has to look like a little canister that's strapped to the pig. That would be cool. I was thinking about doing it myself, but time and resources being what they are, I don't think I could get to it. <laughs> but I think, <laughs> I think it would be fun. Uh, you know, I keep thinking that I do maybe want to do that. Uh, and I said I was going to end this video, but <laughs> I keep thinking that I wanted to do that. Uh, but uh, I don't know. I would if I if I wrote mods, and I I guess I could do it. It just takes some time to learn, but because um, I am a programmer, I just don't know Java that well. Um, I would just I would write stupid mods, and that, those are my favorite type of mods, the ones that add little stupid things in, um, like the clay soldiers. I mean, how how useful is clay soldiers really? It's just a little entertaining item, and I like little entertaining items. And I wish more games would add in. Little entertaining items. I'm gonna collect this mushroom. Uh, that would be a lot of fun. So, yes, and I'm babbling on and on. And I should end this video, but I'm having fun exploring. Oh, we're at the gold layer. So, this is where I have to start looking out for the uranium. And, uh, I gotta be careful where I step, too, because the uranium. Uh, or causes damage if you step on it or touch it, like if you bump into it. So just got to keep an eye out. 
It is an extra hazard. I won't be able to get the gold. What I'll do is I will stop it here and uh, collect all these resources I'm starting to run into. Alright, so we'll be back. I know I said I was going to end the video, but I'm just going to kind of continue on. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I haven't mowed the lawn in like a week. Hello, honey, I'm home. I'm so glad I married you. It's so beautiful. And, ah, oh, look at the house. He's so good. How? What? What? No! What? What? Oh, must have left a scientific experiment on overnight while I was out bowling with the guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, I guess I'll find a, and clone another wife. Oh well, goodbye.